All right, where the hell did they park me? What the fuck? Where the hell did they park me? Where am I? Oh, my road progress is fucking missing. Hey, folks, it's Grimwit. So, yeah, why not? Let's do a semi-reaction video. Reaction of the way of... People are talking about YouTube and about the way things are going, and I don't know, I guess people don't like the way YouTube's going. Which I don't really have a problem with it, because I see it as what it is, I think. What? What am I doing? It's good to know I still don't know how to drive. Anyway, okay, as near as I can tell, this is a trend hashtag that was started by Megan uh, Tonjes. Am I pronouncing that wrong? I'm sorry, Megan. I don't watch your videos, but I do appreciate this particular hashtag trend. Let's do it. Oh, I need... Uh, what? Uh, there, hey, there's my lights. Okay. Um, <laughs> so the hashtag is... Uh, ten, 10 questions. Sorry, 11 questions that I have to ask and myself. And I, uh, you know what, I, I like sharing personal information, so sure, let's do this. I mean, I'm not doing anything much with the gaming industry recently on YouTube, so why not do this? So, question one. How do you find out about new videos? I, I am in the, uh, I'm, I'm probably in the minority here. I find new videos in my subscription feed. Yeah, that and the side mark, uh, but mostly my subscription feed. Um, oh God, no, no, I've been doing these suggestions as well. So I've actually been trusting the YouTube algorithm. How scandalous. And, uh, but, but honestly, mostly my subscription feed. I, I check it and uh, if it reminds me that, hey, Meridian exists. I'm like, oh yeah, Meridian, fuck that. Oh, oh no, it's raining, gotta turn my wipers off. Um, uh, I'll be like, oh yeah, Meridian, he, how is he doing on that, uh, that Let's Play epic of his where he's going through Might and Magic 2? How is he doing on that? In God's name am I going? Oh hell, I'm supposed to go over here. Question two. What's a feature of the site that you miss? I don't. Question three. What's your least favorite trend on YouTube? Oh, um, uh, I'll be honest, I'm, I don't stay on videos, like, I don't, I don't actually care what other people watch, and if I see a video that I don't like, I just sort of ignore it. So, eh, I don't care. I really don't care enough to not like a certain trend. I see, like, uh, say, YouTube poop. I, I don't... I guess YouTube poop, I don't really understand it. And I don't like it much. But I don't care enough to do anything about it. Oh, I was going the right way. So, when something trends on YouTube, I, I'm just like, so what? Enjoy it. That's what it's really for, right? It's entertainment. Does it entertain you? Does it entertain other people? And I don't know what entertains other people, as you can clearly see by how many people view my videos. I... I don't actually care what trends on YouTube. I, I guess I'm just kind of indifferent to the whole mess, so... Dude, watch it. Do you like YouTube? You like Black Midi? Watch Black Midi. You like uh, Helsing Abridged? Which is fucking awesome and you should. Watch Helsing Abridged. You like watching people play Yu-Gi-Oh! games on YouTube? Do it. You know? And I don't care if it trends. And so you'll have like reaction videos. Oh, reaction videos are destroying YouTube because it all it is is people staring at a screen, which is what I'm doing, and I don't like people reminding me that all I'm doing is sitting and staring at a screen. 
somebody watches it, somebody likes it. So, yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't really care. I don't have a least favorite trend exactly. If I don't like it, I won't watch it. But I'm not you, and I don't set trends. Number four. What's the most drastic thing you have done to get views slash subs? Uh, the most drastic thing I've ever done is create a banner for my YouTube page. Which is, in fact, a rehash of a screen, uh, title screen, title card for um, the Pirates of Vuju Island Let's Play I did, like, a decade ago. I guess you could say I sort of tried to play a triple A game, and I got a... No, I guess that would be the most drastic. So, I got a, a special hookup. I forgot what it's called. It was called something like Sparkly Wonder Vision that you use to uh, to hook up your PS3 to the um, whoops wrong button. You use to hook up your PS3 to a laptop, and then you start recording from the PS3. And you, doing that, I played a little bit of God of War three. And I, I really regret that. I, I actually kind of hate myself for doing that because I put in a lot of effort for something that I did not finish. I did not enjoy doing. I said I was doing it for Chuck, but he wasn't watching. So there was no reason for me to do it. But I, I went all out on that. And I like edited in everything. And I really forced a reaction to, to God of War 3. And boy, did that teach me not to ever do that again, because it... I have this rule with making videos, um... Eat your own dog food is what it's called in, uh... In game and in, uh... In programming circles. Eat your own dog food is watch your video. Do you like how your video came out? And so, usually, if, there, if, if there's time, I will watch my own videos and see if I like it and then I'll render the video which is why it takes me so goddamn long to edit videos but eh uh, an exception to that because I haven't had time over the cre Christmas season is the last time on uh, on Skyrim videos I've been doing very quick and of course the casual trucks that I did a long time ago uh, the whole point of those is that I don't have to do editing. Uh, so I just add music and just occasionally I'll pull out something. But that's supposed to be just me relaxing and, and playing some casual truck. So where am I at? Uh, oh, question five. Do you have any regrets on YouTube? God of War 3. Question six. Has your channel changed since one year ago? Eh, not really. I'd say probably the best thing to happen to the channel has been uh, posting things on something awful. But I always feel like I need to put in some extra effort for something awful. Uh, I've tried an experiment to uh, do last time on Skyrim and uh, put it on something awful and see what happens. But I have found that uh, nobody actually cares and it doesn't change the number of people who are viewing my video. So uh, I've generally f still maintained the feeling like if I'm gonna put something onto the Something Awful Let's Play forum, uh, I really need to, to choose a game that I'm not playing blind. And that gives me some, uh, some feelings like I could actually finish it. Whenever I do a blind Let's Play, some, sometimes I'll just get with bored with the game and I won't finish it and I hate not finishing things. Example, Dark Souls. Uh, what do you do to support your favorite creators? Other than hitting like and subscribing? Uh, well, no, I guess I, I, I share on Twitter and uh, I'll retweets and I'll do facey books or face tweets and, and book birds. I, I don't know. I. I, I share. I can't Patreon. 
I don't have any money. I'm really broke. We, we have these bursts of wealth that I use to purchase drawing stuff, but, um, but I, I, I can't support via Patreon, which is a pity because I really, really like Nick Nocturne. I really like Nightmind. Um, and yeah, I know it's, it's only one dollar a month. Yeah, that that's one dollar a month. I need to be applying towards my debt. So that. Um, yeah, actually, you know what? Spread the word. That's the best way that I know to uh, to support my creators, uh, my favorite creators. I I try to spread the word. I try to let people know. Um, I uh, will show stuff. I'll actually watch stuff with my wife. Uh, she has a better handle on social meteors, and I, I don't, so, like, yeah. I, I have a lot of followers on YouTube, no, not for YouTube, on Twitter and YouTube, and uh, 20 of them uh, will watch me religiously, and then the rest just sort of go through my stuff, which I think is cool. I'm not going to complain. I think that's wonderful that anybody uh, watches my videos, but, um... Uh, I, I guess because I can get more comments out of people on Twitter, uh, I feel like I'm doing more good sharing their, the videos that I like uh, on, on Twitter. Incidentally, uh, that'll probably bring us to question eight. How do you define success? Okay, uh, some people will look at views. Um, views or subscribers are the least way that I, I just define success. Oh, but you're going faster than me, so truly, who's speeding here, cop? Huh? Huh? I don't know why people will use subscribers to measure how good a YouTube channel is doing. Um, subscriptions do not equal views. Uh, trust me, I've been in this game for a while, and I admit I'm on the low end of the game. But I've been around long enough to know that subscribers do not equal views. So if, for example, if we were paid by subscribers, then eh, nothing. You're not getting anything. But uh, we're not. We're paid by views, and we're actually paid by view minutes. Um, so I don't, I don't even look at views anymore. I get paid so little on YouTube because I've made bad life choices with uh, whatever network I am on now. What is it like? Uh, broadcast, broadband, theater, or something. Um, Anyway, but I, I make next to nothing, so I don't even look at the money that I make as a view of success. My, my main way of measuring success is comments, interactivity. I'm lonely, what can you do? Number nine, are you happy? With YouTube? That's a weird question, am I happy? Um, my sex life has taken a jump in the last couple of, couple of years. Uh, that, would make, that makes me happy. Um, I've been drawing semi-consistently. That makes me happy. Uh, it, am I happy with YouTube? Uh, I guess. This is a hobby. I'm not making... I don't plan to ever make money off of YouTube. So... Yes? Oh, fucking... Life is simply unfair. Number 10. When do you to YouTube? Oh, why do you do YouTube and how long do you think you'll keep doing it? I need to learn to read and drive at the same time. I'll have to go to night school. Uh, I really kind of do it to sort of... Playing games alone doesn't have the same appeal as it used to when I was younger. I originally started this channel so that uh, Chuck, my, my friend who's in another state right now so that he could experience some of the fun along the ride as well and I've had videos with Chuck on uh, I think it works better when he's joining me in a stream but uh, I originally started it so that um, he could experience amnesia with me because we used to play games together a uh, long time ago when I first moved out of my parents house I played games just for me, but now it's, now games feels like a social sport. So, um, how long am I going to do it? 
I don't know. Uh, I'm not trying new things. I'm not one of those guys who's going to experiment with, hey, let's try cooking on this channel. Uh, I, I will do a let's draw every now and then, but for the most part, you're not going to see me do much other than video games and this, the occasional reaction videos. I need to make a misc playlist, just a miscellaneous playlist, yeah. Hey, wait a second. That sign in the back there said that it was 70 miles. Why am I still stuck in 55? I'll keep doing it until, um, I don't know, I stop playing video games? Um, 11. Has YouTube made your life any better or worse? No, I'd say better. I'd like to be a part of these communities that happen in the chat or in the comment section. But I don't actually think that's how YouTube works. Uh, but it's a nice replacement. Oh, the rain stopped. It's time to turn on the wipers. It's a nice replacement for, um... For just draining out into TV. I can actually... I can actually choose what I want to veg out on. And I use it for different reasons. Uh, Meridian, I love you. I, you're probably not watching this video because... I mean, I'm just one of your viewers, but, uh... I use your videos to fall asleep to because you have the most goddamn relaxing voice known to man. And that Swedish accent. And I can just fall asleep giggling while you say things like, You ignorant jerk, you will pay for that with your life. What ignorant jerks? You'll pay for that with your lives. I, I, I really fucking love that. But um, also, I... I love, uh, I love watching people play games. It's weird. I didn't think I'd be doing something like this on YouTube. <laughs> or in general. Like if you told me when I was a teenager, hey, you know what's great? Watching other people play video games. Yeah. Let's watch other people play games and you won't. And I'll be like, that's stupid. Why would you ever do that? And the answer is because actually it's kind of fun. And uh, you, you feel like you're playing games with somebody else, and so you you make videos hoping to share that same experience. Because it is fun to watch other people have fun. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, YouTube's made my life a little better. So, okay, what's left? Um, I need to tag three people. This is hilarious, because... I'm pretty sure no other YouTubers watch my channel. So I'm going to tag these people, but I don't think they're going to make videos about it because of me. In any case, um, uh, M. Kieran, my writing mentor and all around nice guy and silly dude, you got to jump in on this trend. I would love to hear you answer these questions. Especially about how YouTube has changed, your, like your channel has changed a lot in the last year. So I, I would love to know what it looks like on your end, on your side of the camera. Uh, Nick Nocturne, pff, there's no way he's going to watch this video. But same questions. Uh, I would love to know uh, how you think uh, YouTube works using these questions. I think it would give an insight and I can pick it apart as much as you pick apart an ARG. And uh, super great friend who is way, way above and out of my league. Uh, again, he's not going to watch this, but uh, but it's another thing. I, I would I would love to hear your reactions to how YouTube is changing and this conversation that we're having. Um, you know what? If and I will tag anybody who watches this because um, I'm interested. I'm watching these videos on YouTube because it's a conversation we should have. Why am I... What is the GPS telling me to go this way? What? What? Wait. What? Oh. Okay, GPS. That was a lot of fun. I guess... I guess we're going on now. So yeah, um, that's my 
limited views on YouTube, at least according to these questions. I will tell you the truth. It's just fun. It's really the only thing that should drive a person to make Let's Plays. It's fun. And I really appreciate people's comments. As I said, that's how I measure success because I really like the interaction. I should make, I should make a YouTube channel just to have random conversations with people. Just dedicate it to a casual truck and grab random people from the comments and start Skyping with them as I'm driving a truck. And we'll just talk about the world. Yeah, that would be cool. That'd be so cool that it'll probably never happen. Thanks for watching. <laughs>